Hello and welcome to the Your Questions uh, video. We will answer your questions each week on Saturday. So feel free to ask your questions underneath the uh, YouTube channel videos and I will check them out and answer them on Saturday. So uh, this week question is uh, the, okay, Emilio Bra Bartolini. Uh, hello, Paramatic House. Congratulations for your tutorials. They are very useful. My, uh, might I ask you a question? What is for the flatten command that you used on the capsule when you are explaining? Okay, there are lots of commands when you right click on the output. Do you know any tutorial that can explain me how to use them? Sorry, I'm new on Grasshopper. Thanks. So basically, this video uh, will be answering uh, your question about what are the outputs or the uh, icons you see on when you right click on the outputs or the reverse flatten graph simplify reparameterize icon so i will explain them uh, just in a simple uh, example so first of all let's uh, talk about uh, the reverse tool you can see that even if i put uh, a, any tool if i put any tool on the grasshopper canvas you can see that if, and i right click on the output you will see that the reverse flatten graph simplify and reparameterize tool you can also sometimes see that you if you right click on the input we have the expression so i will also explain what expression is so the first uh, thing is reverse what does reverse mean uh, in the outputs or in the inputs so what can we do here is let me just show you a very very simple example so i'm going to put a series of points here and let me make them okay i have a set of points and if i connect a panel to these points you will see that they have numbers uh, and that's the index of those points uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 so if i go to the uh, display section and connect a point list to these points uh, and bake these numbers you can see that the first point is zero and goes to one two three and four so basically what reverse does is if you right click and reverse the points uh, and let me just bake the numbers you can see that the data is reversed so that is zero one two three or four and we can use this technique and the reverse tool very very easily in many many examples so uh, there are infinite examples you can say and explain about the reverse tool but uh, this was a simple one and that is how uh, the curve of these points will define it so if i just connect these points by a uh, in by an interpolate tool and bake this curve okay and then reverse these points and again bake this curve And let's just get a, an analyzed direction from these curves. You can see that the direction of these curves are reversed. So uh, the curve is connected from these set of points. And when we reverse it, we have it uh, in the reverse direction. So uh, if you uh, want to um, use the reverse tool in Grasshopper, you can also uh, double click and search for RES. Okay, it's a Persian one reverse and you can see the reverse list tool and reverse list tool and you can also use this to uh, make a reversion of your data so you can see that uh, let me just put another panel here and connect the reverse here you can see that uh, this point goes to the end and this point will come to the top so basically the reverse tool is exactly uh, as the right click and the reverse uh, of the inputs or the output <clears throat> uh, you can use it in many many examples i will try to explain that in our tutorials but not not, not for now uh, let's go to the next one and that's the flatten tool okay what is flatten okay so explaining about the flatten and the graft tool I guess that uh, first of all I have to talk about groups in a little little example a simple example so you can understand what happens so assume that we have a simple box here okay 
and let me just draw this and let's just make some copy of this a copy and maybe okay four of them so let's just import those into grasshopper and uh, work on them so you can understand what a group means and why we need flatten why we need to graft because it's uh, it's just a little bit complicated you can't understand it in a simple example like this but I'm just trying to scratch the surface so uh, I'm going to explain about flatten graft in many many uh, many of my video tutorials later but let's just check this out so assume we have four boxes and those will be uh, indexed in a group that's the group zero so they are all in a group and the group is something like this in bracket zero and the zero is this one and the one is this one and two is this and three goes for this so this is indexed in grasshopper and grasshopper knows this box as zero and knows this box for a one and a two and a three so let's assume that we just deconstruct or explode these boxes so I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to the surface tool and deconstruct brep so I'm going to go to the construct brep and deconstruct this brep and what will happen is each of these boxes will be a group because one of these boxes will have <clears throat> as you can see here six faces so this will be six faces six faces for this one and what will happen here is that grasshopper manage, manages data into groups so you can see that we have the first box we have the second box the third and the last one and each box has six faces okay and grasshopper also uses a zero uh, before the number of the group because it wants to say that you have just done something okay so uh, basically the um, the first one okay let me just show you if i just offset those edges maybe this can help you so that's zero 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 one and zero two and when i just offset those curves or the edges you can see that it just goes to the zero 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 one zero zero two and that is because grasshopper handles another way of data by adding a zero at the group stage and it means that uh, this was later on the uh, uh, on our way so if you right click on the outputs and just use the simplify uh, tool so I'm just going to explain the simplify now uh, the simplify will just um, simplify the groups and turn off the zeros so let's just check this out okay we have an offset here and goes to zero 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 one and I'm going to right click and simplify so you can see that the zeros of those groups just go back and that will be a simplified uh, kind of group okay so what is a flatten and graft we can understand here so uh, perhaps let me turn this off we have uh, three groups okay we have four groups and let me just simplify this so you can see that the zeros are gone we have four groups in six faces okay so this will be the uh, zero and this will be one two three four and five so we have zero to five numbers here and if I go for the list item I've, uh, I've explained that in some of my tutorials and pick just one face so maybe the face number three I don't know which one is that okay we can check it maybe the bottom of this surface zero one two three the four is the bottom and it goes to five so uh, if I just take those and connect a curve to that uh, to that to those surfaces you can see that I'm extracting the curves of these uh, bottom of those boxes okay so now I want to connect those uh, bottoms together and make a surface so I'm going to use loft so I'm going to use loft here 
But when I connect the curves to the loft, nothing happens. And that is when we use flatten, maybe sometimes. So if you check this out, you can see that we have uh, four rectangles here, but they are in four groups. So this is the first group and it has only one data and that is the first rectangle what we see here and the second and the third and the fourth and when you just connect this to the loft you mean that I want to loft four times this is the times you want to do that so if you connect it to a join you want you want to say to the computer that I want to join four times one by one okay so that doesn't give an output but because you're saying I want to join I want to loft four times and one section one section so that will not give you anything instead if you have two or three maybe that will be two sections lofted together three sections lofted together so what we will do here is to we we can just break those groups by flatten we don't need these groups we don't need this group in uh, in the bracket zero group so and this is the zero one and then we go to the bracket one and this is again the zero and this will go to the bracket 2 and this is only a one curve so it's a zero and so on so if we say loft uh, what happens it it operates loft in the groups four times lofting with one section that doesn't mean anything but if we flatten the groups what happens is that all the uh, all the curves go in one group and that will be the bracket zero group and this will be zero, this will be one, two, and three. And that will make sense. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this and go for the flatten. You can see that the answer is okay because now we have four polyline curves in just one group. Let me show you in the panel section. You can see that it's all in the first group and it makes sense because you want to connect those four but when you don't uh, use flatten each of those curves are in one groups and they will not give any answers so you can also use the flatten here flatten tree okay and give the output to this and the flatten tree has a uh, as an input you can explain what you want the output to be so this is for advanced one advanced users uh, maybe you want to just take all those groups and turn it uh, turn them into the bracket six or the sixth path and then you add them to the sixth group uh, on your uh, making or on your uh, grasshopper tutorial on your grasshopper algorithm so the next one goes to let me just show you simplify too if i just turn this simplify off you can see that we have a zero here you can also use the simplify tree tool and just get rid of those zeros and you can see that the uh, simplify is just exactly when you right click and use the simplify tool and the next one is about the graft. So what do we need? Uh, let me explain how we use graft. Okay, uh, check this out. Uh, let's assume that we have, okay, two set of boxes here and let's just make a copy of these. Okay. Uh, I want to connect these four rectangles together and four, four of these rectangles together. How can I do this? Assume that we have four layers of data, okay? We have four layers of data. We are working, uh, we are exploding, we are uh, extracting them, and we have four set of curves. So this is the first curve, the second curve, and the third, and the last one. And we want to connect uh, each of those data uh, in those uh, set of curves. So I'm going to use the curve tool, okay? And let's assume that we have the first group here. And let's assume that we have the second group here. This is the third group. And 
this is the last group. Okay, so what we have here is and these are all in the first group. These are all in the group 0 and they are numbered 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So if I just put them into one group, okay, let's check this out. Put a curve here and use the shift key to put everyone here. You can see that they will go uh, uh, along each other because if I just use loft here okay you can see that it goes here and up there that is because it's 0 and 1 then we just put him into one group so it will be 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 so how can we just connect each of these set of four uh, sections together we can use the a graft tool. I'm going to graft each one of these groups and here we are we can just change these sections and have maybe a new section okay what will happen here is that you can see uh, we will have two groups. If I just right click and use the simplify, we'll have the zeros gone. And we have two set of groups. And they are in four uh, indexed numbers. So this will be the zero. And that will be zero, one, uh, two, and three. And this will be the one and the zero one two three so what happened why did this happen because of the graft when we graft each of these data so let's check this out i'm not going to use the graft on this one you see that the the curves were were in the one group and index zero and one and now i'm going to use graphs and see what happens each one will go to the group so Let's show, show this what happens now, okay? We will have everything in something like this. And let's say these are our geometry. And these are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And when we use the graft tool, we will have something like this. Uh, each one will go. Okay, let's just show these. Each one will go into a group. And this will be the first group. And this will be the second group. And this will be the third group. And so on. And this will be just zero because it's just one this is zero two and so on so this will means graft each of the datas will go into one group so when we just group when we just right click and use the graft tool uh, this one will be zero and this one will be one and for the next layer this one will be zero this will be 1, this will be 0, this will be 1, so on. And when we just put them into a one curve tool, all the zeros will go into one group and all the ones will go to each group. But this is a technique. You can also always use uh, layers and graft them to have them organized into four groups or three groups or two groups. So this is about the graft tool and the uh, and last one let me just show you here okay maybe have a curve here and we want to extrude that and we want to go to the z direction and we have a number slider here, we have a number here. We want to give this to the extrusion, but maybe we want to say that 
and this number goes to other inputs okay so maybe we want to do this three times 55 so it's we can go to the mathematics and multiply that with three okay and then give this to here or we can just right click on the input and use the expression okay if I right click and use the expression we say three star x you have to use the x expression and it means that uh, multiply the input by 3 you can do whatever you want with the expression tool but uh, let me show you here okay 3x three, 3 times x or we can say we want the sine x we want the sine of this happening and go to the output or we want to just have an complicated expression x powered by 3 okay let's just make this plus x powered by 2 plus x okay so you're you're simply uh, using functions to change the inputs uh, by using the x function and x expression so this is the your questions video about the uh, okay reverse flatten graph simplify and reparameterize the reparameterize one is the last one and what it means is let me show you okay I've explained about the reparameterize tool in the evaluate surface uh, video tutorial but I will also explain it here if you didn't uh, watch the uh, evaluate surface video tutorial I uh, I think that it will really help you to understand more about the reparameterize. But uh, about the curves and the surfaces in a Grasshopper, if we have a surface and we have a curve here, okay, those two set of geometries, I mean curves and surfaces, have domains and domains too. They have domains and domains too. So basically, domain 2 will go for a surface, and a simple domain will go for a curve. So you can see that the curve has a domain from 0 to 378, and the surface is two domains. That's domain 2 because it has a U domain, and it has a V domain. Okay. Uh, what reparameterize does is it just simplifies uh, the domain to 0 and 1 okay so u will be 0 to 1 v will be 0 to 1 and the curve will be 0 to 1 and let's just right click reparameterize and reparameterize you can see the domain will be 0 to 1 it will be really useful for the evaluation tools evaluate curve we can give a simple 0 to 1 tool and extract the curve or the evaluate surface and give it an MD slider because it's a multi-dimensional slider is basically from 0 0 to 1 to 1 and you can just have all the surface covered by the simple MD slider tool or UV point that's a UV point uh, I encourage you to just watch the evaluate surface tutorial to understand more about uh, the domain 2 of a surface so that will be the uh, reparameterize uh, input uh, of a curve or a surface which you can use uh, okay thank you for watching this video if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them and I will try to answer them each Saturday uh, in the parametric house channel and thank you